Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Your dead eye and ability has approved. Sure, that's how to overwrite the auto save. And uh, yeah. Our mission was quite far away, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, this is gonna be quite the ride. Let's see. There's my horse. My main horse, at least. Yeah. I got a few others. Uh, let's just see. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure I'm really allowed in there. Let me think of it. Is there a postal office somewhere near here? Uh, not really. Okay, I guess I have to ride the whole way. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to be able to take a train at least. Someone's doing some shooting. Well, then I should have probably started this episode when I was somewhere over there. Or I can make a little cut. And I'll see you all when I get close if nothing else shows up. See y'all in the Okay, now we're starting to get close. They should be just about here. There is. How's it going, dude? Okay, said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room? It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Okay, left side in the wagon. I mean, we might as well have the cinematic camera right. 
the Wii. I'm feeling good about this one. <laughs> I'm just chilling back here. Exits. Right, let's sneak in there. And we need to get on the second floor, I thought it said, so I think we could. Let's go up here, right? That would be too easy. Alright. I guess we have to go in through the open door here then. the stairs that leads upstairs. You don't see me. Good so far. Don't see me, dude. There's the office that we need to get into. Let's give him a little bit of a beating. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that That's seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Come on. Didn't Danbury. you get what I said? Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a I... nice floor as this. Well, it's here. It's here. Good boy.
Thank you very much. I'll take that. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> Oh man, this sort of shotgun is doing business! Yes. I'm following. They're coming after us. Oh, how could you tell? Great work. <laughs> Man, this was Thanks, easier Rose, than I expected. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes. yes. Don't worry, he was very obliging. <laughs> very obliged I indeed. You wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Well, thank you. Thank you. Ooh, 250 bucks. Okay, something I could have done better, apparently. Ah. Kill all the horseback pursuers during this game. Alright. Not too shabby though. Not too shabby at all. Okay, and now it seems like we have a new mission with the Dutch. Well, I kind of want to see if I can pay off my my bounty. And I believe the postal office was over here somewhere. Do it show up now? Yeah, there it is. Well, I wasn't too far off. I 
I don't, I'm not sure if I can pay off my debts, or not debts, but uh, uh, bounties. But it would be really great to do that because I've been hunted. Oh, are those some wild horses? Man, I remember the taming you did in the uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 game when you found the wild, wild horses. You could tame them and have them as your own. That's kind of cool though. I wonder if they have this, some kind of taming in this game too. And I wonder if they will do some kind of... Uh, Expansion. Oh. Oh, we're a stranger. What Great. Happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. All right. Uh, well, aren't you going to help? Uh, let I'm me help her. Here. Why aren't you helping? Ma I'll there we go. See what I can do. There we go. Yes. Lift that yes. horse. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank oh, you. You saved me. Sure. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor dumb animal. Oh. You gonna be okay? What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, thank you. Um, yeah, sure. It's selfish of me to ask. I know. Would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. Uh, sure. Sure. Be happy to. Really? Thank you so much. I mean, might as well, right? Do you know right? Valentine? I live there. Uh, no ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're too happy with me and Valentine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might have a little bit of trouble here. Well, I hope they ain't gonna be too pissed about me and Valentine. I don't normally <laughs> travel this far alone, you know. Okay. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... ...odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Yeah. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. <laughs> you finding me... ...is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Yeah. Well, now my horse is all tired out. <sighs> well, I mean, I couldn't leave her there, right? I mean, she had a horse laying on her leg. I mean, it might be a bit crushed.
Uh, it says here a bounty of 120. It's probably not gonna be a good time. You serious? Okay, can I ride around the train maybe? now just a little further you nearly killed me. You have okay uh, so far nothing too bad has happened I, I gotta say though I'm a bit worried being back in Valentine you trying to kill me watch it what the, what the hell hell's wrong with you? we're here thank you for all your help you're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You'll be well. Well, I did something good. That can't be bad, right? I don't know if the rest of the town here agrees with me, though. They probably want me dead as a doorknob. Well, I actually thought there would be more trouble in the town. I'm happy there weren't. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of strange of being a totally wanted man and walking into a town you robbed the bank at. And no one even cares. Me, that's odd. Yeah, sure is, partner. <laughs> well, I feel good about helping that woman at least. I don't know why it wouldn't let me help there for quite some while, time. I mean, she just asked like, are you gonna help me or not? And I'm like, I want to help you! I am pressed the button! Uh. Well, I just hope I can uh, pay off my... Uh, Bounties. Because I don't feel like having bounty hunters on my head. I mean, I have enough time with the. What is now? The Driscolls? Uh, the Brace and the Brave Weights we killed off. I guess it's the Abriscals and the, the Pinkertons. The Pinkertons are probably not too happy with us. Because we refuse to give them Dutch. Let's see. It can't be too much fur, right? No, it's not. We're almost there. Howdy. Good morning. Hey, Bounty. Christ. 
You got the money to pay all that off? Uh, got for I'm shocked more. you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. There we go. Also, let's get a train ticket. To Saint Denis. Enjoy your destination. Well, I think we did good there. Well, now it's just a loading screen. <laughs> Come on now. Here we go. Taking a train into the big city. Let's see. Fort Walls? Oh yeah, it was probably there we blew up stuff. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any bounties more than there and in Blackwater. And there I'm wanted dead or alive. They won't take any briberies. Okay, well, I'm gonna end off the episode here, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!